me. <coughs> Welcome to my next vlog, although my brain has got a bit of brain freeze going on, so I can't remember which vlog I'm going to be putting this on. Anyway, good morning, folks. Hope you're all well. Hope this uh, weather's suiting you. Um, half an inch of snow and it puts the United Kingdom on the back foot, seriously on the back foot. But anyway, we're on our way to Muddy Fields. We may eventually get there. Just been driving right at the point of my own business and the Muddy Fields van has just come past me. Um, safe and sound um, and they're now sorting out the oil I've got a nice cup of coffee and a bag but don't tell anybody um, and I'm just now waiting for them to do what they need to do and I'll be able to take her away this is what passed me on the motorway this is their muddy fields um, promotional van um, as you can see it was a hearse um and it's just it's just lovely so um yeah that's that's muddy fields so if you ever see that on the road you know where i go and have my van fixed etc etc just out pick some fuel up for the jeep and my husband's treating me to good old tim hortons so how the how the other half live <laughs> Hello Thomas. Oh, excellent. Oh, we can do it at an order point. Are we doing it at an order point? Yeah. We're doing it at an order point. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, go for it. Bacon strip? <gasps> yes, please. A meal. Right. Sauce? No. Thank you. Oh, lattice fries. Hang on. Oh, it comes with it. All right. Oh, I can't follow this. Drink. Um, I'll have a latte, please. Yeah, Drink. that's lovely. Thank you. Small, medium or large? Medium, please. Would you like to add Columbia Espresso to drink? No, thanks. Right. So, okay. what's the man having? Yes, sense. lovely. Uh, yeah? Yeah, fine. Go on. Add what? to order. Blimey. How many of these are we having? It's all together a bit stripy. Tim Hortons in the UK. Right. And the man's ordering his now. not quite the same as Canada but it'll do. Oh 
decisions, decisions. <gasps> you gotta press on that. Oh my goodness, yes. This is all fuel before we go to the um, phone shops to get better deals on our mobile phones. He's forgotten the donuts. Apparently, we don't need donuts. No? So I'll wait for the order to arrive. It's not the healthiest of lunches, but um, hey ho. Only I'm a bit miffed we haven't got the donuts. And the donuts are really lovely. They're very sugary and they you really shouldn't eat the donuts at Tim Hortons, but they oh, are absolutely me mega. I know we haven't got them. That's why we haven't got them. Because they're too sugary. Yeah. Yeah, right, okay. Mine's upside down. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Anyway, I'll see you on the other side. So I'm starting with the hubcaps. Um, I've dipped them in coke not that this is doing anything for them in terms of the chrome but I'm going to clean out the inside and I'm going to try these because these are brilliant for hands um, it's like the modern day swarm figure so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get out all the crap on the inside which um, mm. Yeah, and if there's any rust going on inside the hubcap, then ugh, what a job. I should put some gloves on actually for this, but still, never mind. I've started, so I should finish. Um, yeah, it's just trying to get all the, the crud out, but I have a feeling I'm going to have to put some um, rust remover in here, and then what I'll do is I'll put the rust protector on so there's no more rust can get through but I need to clean these off first so that um yeah some real bad bits these have been sat around I've got these off Chris at garage 87 in Chingle um thank you Chris very much indeed um and now it's just a case of I'm not really sure what to do the outside. What I'm going to do is go straight for chrome cleaner and see if the chrome cleaner will work on the outside. But that's taken off some of it, so I'm going to put that back in the sink. I think it's just as well Tom's out as I'm cleaning up my hubcaps in, in the sink. Still, um, there you go. These things have to be done. Right, let's just see what I've got here. Well, that's not too bad. So I've got a, the washing up bowl full of um, original Coca-Cola. Not that they're sponsoring me or anything. Otherwise I'd be... Oh! Now this one seems to want to know... Oh, there's a lot of grime on these. A lot of grime. But the grime is actually moving on this one. But I will give it a protective coating inside. Yeah, that's looking a good deal better. I think I'm going to get through the whole tub of these. But these are brilliant for hands. If you've been working in the garage or in the workshop and you've got your hands covered in all sorts. I'm not big on rubber gloves and the likes. I never have been. Um, but uh, they're really useful. They're just like the hand wipes of the Sorfiga family. Remember the green stuff? The slime that came out of the, the tin. My dad always had a large pot of Sorfiga lying around in his garage and it always smelled disgusting but uh, for getting oil off your hands it sort of did the job. Um, right, let's have a look. I think these have got a bit of rust on them there we are. Let's just have a look. Ooh, now, hey, what about that? If I could get the outsiders shiny, 
we could cook in the gas. So, hold on, let's just see what I can do now with the front of it. Because the front of it does have some rust marks. And also, somebody's managed to paint in between the, the VW. You can probably see it's, it's coming away here quite nicely. So let's see if this will clean up the front. Um, and then I've got to decide on what sort of cleaner or what, what I'm going to use to try and get rid of these little pitted, pitted rust areas. Oh, no, that's looking better. Although I do want to get this black out of the middle. Some of it's a bit stubborn, but and I don't want to use anything abrasive at all on these hubcaps. Actually, it's quite nice being indoors doing this because it's still perishingly cold outside. Well, if you're in Canada, it's a mild day. I keep banging on about Canada, but I think it's because when we once went, uh, trying to have a cigarette in minus 22 meant I had to put all my outdoor wear on just to go out and have a smoke. And quite frankly, no. I ought to give up. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll make an effort this year. And uh, as long as you can all cope with the fallout, another adventure for the curate's wife. Right. Um, I think I might re dip that. Take that one out and pop that one back in. Yeah, the coke seems to be helping. This is pretty grim inside. I think somebody's given it a coat of something inside as well. So I'm not going to go mad. I think what they've done is they've coated it with a rust protector. Um, it's not a pretty job. But, oh yes, what they've done is they've coated over the rust. You can feel it. It's texture. So let's just have... Clean this off. I'm not in the market for um, redoing all the. Um, now I've forgotten what the word is. Yeah, here we go. I've lost my words. It's typical. The chrome. I'm not in for re chroming. So we're going to make do. And actually, it's more authentic to the vehicle. It just makes it look like I've really taken care. Um, hopefully, later today, I get to Tony. And Tony will refit me the wheels. As I think I might have made mention, I have got the hubcap... Uh, I've got the wheel nuts, the specific wheel nuts for the BW. Um, all 20 of them a wheel so I'm sort of looking forward to yeah actually it's not going to take too long to get all this nasty black out of the grooves here but uh, here we go the beginning just shine up quite nicely well they're, they're, they're cleaning up quite nicely the shining is yet to come so I don't appear to have any chrome cleaner, so I think what I'll do is I'll focus now on the insides and I will pick up chrome cleaner at the local shop in Erlen, Auto Tech, and see if they've got anything that will... What a shame. Anyway, with no further ado, I'm now going to go into the workshop and start tackling the inside. So I'm going to wipe off now the excess and see how this works. Well, to be honest with you, 
it's not made a whole load of difference really. I think I'm I think someone may have already used something in here to stop the rust, but I'm not shifting any more of that. So I think I'll put the rust inhibitor on and I will then coat it in the bad areas with um, the rust so the rust will not come through again. By Jingo's they look so much better on the front, they really do, they look absolutely super. This is not really... Right, okay, let's try this. Disposing of this stuff is quite a tricky business. Gosh, I can remember in the old days if my dad had sorted somebody's oil out in their car, he used to put the old oil down the manhole. I mean, you cannot do that these days. Gosh, those back in the 60s. Talk about pollute the world. Um, I have got behind this workshop a run of soil. So if ever I'm doing anything, I always let the excess go onto that soil. It's not soil that goes anywhere, it doesn't attach to the garden, it's just an area between the workshop and the large wall that uh, it doesn't have anything growing in it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, do you know something folks, I think this might be working. Wow. Well, this, I don't think this is disappointing in any shape or form. This is taking a lot off. Wow. I've got my nether. Where's the holes? Where's the holes there? It's like panning for gold, swishing it around, panning for gold. Right, I'm going to leave that to one side because that does look, where are the holes are there? That looks like it's working, so let's go on to this one. Yeah, oh, this is, this is beginning to look a lot like um, it might be working. I nearly said Christmas looks like it's beginning to work. It's not as cold in here today. Um, quite surprised actually. But, uh, Tom's gone off to art this morning. He's, on a, he's doing a portrait at the moment which is beginning to look very very good indeed. Um, so when he's out I can get on. Well I'll tell you what I'm not disappointed. I am not disappointed at all. Just need some chrome cleaner on these now and they're ready. So that's it for now. That's it for now folks. Um, I'm going to give it a coat. I'm going to let them just dry off. I might get a wire brush but I haven't got a small wire brush that I know of in the workshop. That's what I could do with. Um, and then I'm going to give them a protective coat so the rust will not penetrate any further nor will it spread around the inside of the rims and I'm going off to see uh, see if I can get some chrome cleaner now and then I can get them all buffed out up on the front. Um, all I can say is thank goodness for dog towels because trust me when I tell you the towel that I'm using is not for humans <laughs> and actually I don't think Ozzy needs it anymore either so we'll call it the workshop towel. So I'll see you in a while and no doubt see you again when I am at Tony Tyres for the grand replacement. Bye for now. <laughs>